Hello students, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss the concept of Boolean polynomials. So, the question is, what is a Boolean polynomial? Now, when you are defining a Boolean polynomial, what you need in the beginning is a set of variables. This set I am denoting by capital X. So, let X be a set of n variables and let us say we are denoting the n variables by x1, x2 and so on till xn. So, these uh, variables can also be called as indeterminates or they can be called as symbols. So, to start with when you are defining a Boolean polynomial, you need a set of symbols or indeterminates or variables and this we are taking as capital X. Now, the question is what do you mean by a Boolean polynomial over a set of n symbols? So, this is how we define a Boolean polynomial over a set of n symbols. The first thing is that all these n symbols x1, x2 and so on till xn, they are themselves Boolean polynomials by definition. Also, the symbol 0 and 1, these two symbols are also Boolean polynomials. This is one thing. Secondly, if p and q are any two Boolean polynomials, then any combination of these two uh, Boolean polynomials, uh, which is done using the uh, the join operator, the meet operator and the complement operator, any combination of the Boolean polynomials and particularly if you are taking, if you are starting with two Boolean polynomials, any Boolean polynomials P and Q. So, if they are combined using these three uh, operations which uh, were join, meet and complement, we have already discussed these operators in my earlier videos. So, that is also a Boolean polynomial which means that uh, P join Q or uh, P meet Q or P dash or uh, q dash or p uh, let us say meet uh, q dash all these are boolean polynomials. So, this is how uh, boolean polynomials are uh, defined over the set of n symbols. So, in particular if you uh, take your uh, set x to be a set of two symbols let us say then uh, uh, if x is x1 x2 then examples of boolean polynomials uh, in this case when you are taking x to be the set of two symbols are let us say x1 is a Boolean polynomial, x2 is a Boolean polynomial, 0 is a Boolean polynomial, 1 is a Boolean polynomial, x1 join x2, this is a Boolean polynomial, then x1 meet x2 dash, this is a Boolean polynomial, polynomial and so on. Now, a few things which have to be uh, noted uh, when you are, uh, when you, when we have defined Boolean polynomial like this are, uh, if you, for example, let us say I consider this particular Boolean polynomial, x1 join x2. And uh, let us say I consider another uh, Boolean polynomial x2 join x1. Now, if you consider these two Boolean polynomials, then although they are appearing to be same, uh, they are appearing to be equal, they are appearing to be same, but they will not be called equal. Two Boolean polynomials will be called equal if they are if they are same character by character, symbol by symbol. So, if you compare x1 and x2 here, if you compare these two polynomials, then this x1, the first uh, symbol is x1 and here the first symbol is x2. So, they are differing in the first symbol itself. Then join operator comes and then x2, x1, they, again they are differing in the second symbol. So, because they are differing, so that is why they, these two polynomials, although they appear to be same, but they will not be regarded as equal. So, two uh, polynomials, Boolean polynomials P and Q are said to be equal. Uh, in general, this is this is not just for the set of two symbols, but in general, if you have uh, P and Q are Boolean polynomials over the set of uh, n symbols, then th these Boolean polynomials will be called equal if they are uh, just same, just the same character by character or symbol by symbol. So, uh, uh, as far as these two particular uh, Boolean polynomials are concerned, uh, which are defined over the set of two symbols, they are not equal. But uh, x1 join x2 is equal to x1 join x2, which means that they should be exactly same. Character by character and symbol by symbol, they should be same. Only then the polynomials can be called equal. So, this is one thing. Then uh, this was uh, uh, the case of uh, Boolean polynomials over the set of two symbols. If you take, uh, let us say, Boolean polynomials over the set of uh, three symbols, let us say x1, x2, x3, then uh, again uh, x1 is a Boolean polynomial, x2 is a Boolean polynomial, x3 is a Boolean polynomial, x1 uh, join x2, this is also a Boolean polynomial, although x3 is not present, but it is not necessary that all the symbols should be there. So, x1 join x2 is also a Boolean polynomial over the set of three symbols, but we had seen that x1 join x2 is a Boolean polynomial over the set of two symbols also, which means that every uh, polynomial uh, in, in over the set of two symbols can be regarded as a polynomial over the set of three symbols also. 
So if we denote the set of all uh, polynomials over the set of two symbols by P2, and if we denote the set of uh, all Boolean polynomials over the set of three symbols by P3, then we can see that P2 is contained in P3. Why? Because every polynomial over the set of two symbols can be regarded as a Boolean polynomial over the set of three symbols also. So using this argument, if, if, you, if you generalize this whole thing, then we have that P1, which is the set of all Boolean polynomials over one symbol is contained in P2, which is the set of all Boolean polynomials over two symbols. Then Boolean, this is contained in P3, which is the set of all Boolean polynomials over three symbols. And in general, Pn, which is the set of all Boolean polynomials over n symbols, is contained in Pn plus 1, which is the set of all Boolean polynomials over n plus 1 symbols and so on. So this is the relation that we have uh, between Boolean polynomials over set of different symbols. So that was all about the concept of Boolean polynomials.